there's two months left to 2024 so how do you get a job in cybersecurity before 2024 and in grc right governance risk compliance or it could be any other field you can a mission to help one million people into cybersecurity. maybe you're trying to get into cybersecurity, but you think your chances are slim after so many rejections you're not sure if it's possible or if this is a dream that you should just let go of. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's definitely possible. But what if the problem is not getting into cybersecurity? The problem is maybe how you're going about it. You know, you can be, people say be consistent, and being consistent is good. But is there a time when being consistent is not good? yes you see when we're consistent doing the wrong thing it's not going to take us anywhere we might as well not even be cons be consistent because then consistency hurts us because we're doing the wrong thing and that's what i want to tell you in this video is being consistent doing the wrong thing can waste your time it can take you months even years trying to bring to cyber security and you may never even break in because you're doing it the wrong way so how do you do it the right way, you ask? Well, let's say you're trying to bring to cybersecurity in two months before 2024, which is in two months. I did it in two months. I definitely think that it's possible, right? So let's say you already have some cybersecurity certification and you're applying for jobs, you're not getting anything, and there's two months left to 2024. So how do you get a job in cybersecurity in before 2024? and in grc right governance risk compliance or it could be any other field you can also apply this framework to any other field you're trying to break into in cyber security first you really want to understand the industry like know the industry in cyber security you want to get into some people say they want to get into cyber security but you really have to have a clear goal a smart goal a smart goal is really what it sounds like it means that a goal is specific it is measurable it is achievable it is realistic and it is time constraints meaning that there is a time it's time it's time specific right so what that means is that you want to think about okay i want to be in cyber security where in cyber security which field do i want to be in when I wanted to be in cybersecurity, I knew exactly which field I wanted to be in. And for me, it was governance, risk, and compliance. As a matter of fact, my first job was security engineering, but I immediately switched and I went into GRS. I kept looking for jobs until I got what I wanted. I didn't settle for something I didn't want. And that's one thing you have to decide is understanding where your passion in cybersecurity lies. The reason why I say cybersecurity is for everyone is because if you like tech and uh, there's so many fields you can be into, right? Software engineering is kind of okay. You have to like code. But cybersecurity, you don't have to code to be in cybersecurity. Uh, there's so many fields. This is so broad. Like I made a video on and I shared the different fields in cybersecurity. So you definitely want to go check out that video out. I'll, I'll put it somewhere here right now. But this is exactly it so you think about the field so let's say i want to be in grc now what is the next step understand what it takes to be in grc read the about the frameworks the standards that are being used in the industry so iso SOC 2 mist understand pick one don't pick too many because right now you're starting out and you don't want to overwhelm yourself you want to make sure that you're able to pick one really understand what it is what it entails what the controls are the objectives uh and the next thing i would say to move to from that is looking at case studies case studies of uh companies and you, you know drilling down these case studies seeing how you know what 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 was right in this case studies like what did they do right what could they have done better right and you could bring that up to uh in your interviews and you know say you know I, i've read so many case studies i don't have the experience but i've read so many case studies this is one case study i read and this is what i think that it could have done better now what that puts in the how that sets you in the mind of the interviewer is that you're curious and you're thinking outside the box and maybe you're thinking about something that they never thought about themselves 
you're also doing something that a lot of people don't do after that you want to build those projects so you think about okay what projects can I can I build? Can I come up with a made-up company and how I would apply, uh, uh, how I would implement a standard, how I would how I would implement an uh, inf information uh, uh, management system, information security management system in that company, and you build that. You put that on GitHub. You put your projects up on LinkedIn. You you look at case studies. You look at what you could have done better. You put all of that on LinkedIn. You network with people on LinkedIn. People who are in the field, who are in GRC, hiring managers in GRC, and you put yourself out there. A closed mouth doesn't get fed. So you have to let your light shine and put yourself out there where everybody is so they can see you and they know they know you let people get to know you go to join an organization there's so many of ISC square isaka join those organizations get to meet people who are already in the field network with them get to know them and it's definitely possible to do it in two months if i did it in two months so can you if other people have done it in two months so can you and i bet you that someone will even did it in less than two months the like i said the real problem i find people making is that they're consistent but they're consistent doing the wrong thing for example someone sending their resume and they you ask them how many times are you applying they say i'm applying 100 times or every week i send like 100 applications some people even send 100 applications daily and you ask them how many callbacks are you getting they say maybe one maybe zero okay there's something there there's something there and it looks like you may want to take a look at your resume you may want to have someone take a look at your resume if that is your case but you can't keep doing something that's not working and you just keep doing it that's not the way that you're going to get to where you want you have to sit back sometimes we take some time in life to really look back look outside ourselves and make this critical you know judgments and change the way that we are doing things and so i do that every day and so i, I just want to say this that if you're trying to come in to cyber security before 2024 it's definitely possible you just have to change the way that you're going about it if it's not working change it don't keep doing it don't keep doing something because it's not working so that is what i'm gonna say because i definitely know it's possible i, I did it in two months I know some other people might have done it in lesser time than I did. I'm not the smartest person, you know. I just know that if something is not working, it means that you need to reevaluate how you're doing it. You need to change something. You need to look at it. And that's what I'm going to say. Well, these are my steps on how to get into cybersecurity before 2024. If you're doing something, you've been doing it for months, then change it. Speak to somebody. Speak to a coach. Speak to, I don't know, like network in the field. Get to meet people. Join organizations. You know, make friends in the industry. Know where you want to be in cybersecurity. Not just cybersecurity. Like there's so many niches in cybersecurity. Learn to learn the frameworks, the standards. If you if if you pick a field, learn what it entails to do that job. Read case studies. Understand and see. Okay, how can I do this better? Critical thinking. Develop critical thinking. And also like look at skills that you could develop. Put yourself out there. Close mouths don't get fed. And that's what I'm gonna say. Okay, and if you watch this video to the end, please subscribe, like this video. I am on a mission to help 1 million people break into cybersecurity GRC. And this is only possible with everybody, all of us together. I play my part by having these videos out, having this encouragement out, giving you guys these tips, this helps, the resources. And your part is to like the video, share the video, comment, subscribe. If you like the video, YouTube knows the video helped you and it can help somebody else. That tells them that and they push push the video out more. If you share the video, you get to help somebody else. And you also get to help us fulfill this mission of helping 1 million people break to GRC. This mission is so important because it's not from, to me, it's not just about cybersecurity. It's about what it can do for you. Like you, the fulfillment that you have. And people say money, yeah, the money is good and that that is good but it's like you're fulfilled doing something that you love and getting paid well for it people do things that they love they don't get paid well for it yeah yeah so this is a blessing this is a blessing 
so take advantage of that and like i said like the video share comment subscribe even though you don't have anything to say comment because it helps it helps the algorithm so comment <laughs> okay thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video a mission to help one million people into cyber security